is not the Sixers, doctors. Yo, what up? It's your boy, <laughs> Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. Black Gritty, with Jason Ferguson, a.k.a. IQMZ Sports on the Twitter. What's up, Jason? What's going on, man? Mr. Optimistic over here. Trust me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> if if Harper could do it, Joel and B can do it. We're all coming back. Yeah. <laughs> We're going streaking. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I believe in Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper is Wolverine. He's everything that they told me Jalen Hurts was when he hurt his shoulder. <laughs> he heals differently than you and me. He's not like a regular guy. Like, if you knew a guy that could heal like he's healing, you know, that that's actually Bryce Harper. Yeah. <laughs> that's not – I mean, I love Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is our guy. Jalen Hurts is so, the man. Then Duell is Mr. Glass. Like what's, miss, the, what's the, what's the God, comparison there? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so before we get started, uh, uh, in these streets, hats, uh, t-shirts, buy up that merch. stuff. Yep. Uh, Philly first. I'm just sad. Oh <laughs> man. Even, yeah. Oh god, the Sixers. Like <laughs> and it, it is literally Groundhog Day, and I told myself in the beginning of this year because I get in so many fights with friends <laughs> because. I, after when I gave up on Ben, you know, I was the first person out on Ben. I had to deal with the hatred of the hatred when I knew what was coming. Oh, I was last. And, yeah, was you, so wrong. you and so you, wrong. you and Drew. I was so wrong. You and Drew, my boy Harry, y'all were on me, and it was just a battle. Like we were getting fights about it because it was just so aggressive. It's my bad. But I ended up being right, <laughs> and 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 so we all know that this is what happens. It's Groundhog Day. Great season. MVP. MVP season. Exit second round. Doesn't yep. matter who the coach is. Don't matter. Doesn't matter who you trade for. Doesn't matter what's going on. Joel Embiid will be hurt in the playoffs. Always in the first round. And we will not make it past the second round of playoffs. And right now, it is frustrating because the whole league structure was having injuries. People are getting hurt. The bubble is real. Shut up about how the bubble worked because... Playoff Jimmy is oh. back, like the bubble never burst, and LeBron James took out the higher seed, and just like Laker, like it, that whole bubble thing was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and now look, look, the bubble's back, and we are still in the same position. Yeah, it's just nothing changes. Nothing changes if you're a Philadelphia 76ers fan. I had and, a uh, Facebook memory from last year. Oh, God. And I was like, man, it's so tough being a Philadelphia fan. Okay. You have... The Eagles killing the draft last year, right? Yep. Allegedly. Yep. Getting A.J. Brown and all uh-huh. that. It was like, but then immediately during the draft, you hear that Embiid's hurt and going to miss some games in the playoffs. And then here we are a year later. The Eagles are doing good in the draft. And then the story comes out that Embiid's going to miss some games in the playoffs. So the like, the, how? Eagles, the Eagles went to the Super Bowl <laughs> and they lost, and we know. Yeah, the hurts. Phillies went to the World Series and they lost, and we know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Our soccer team went lost. to the Union, went to the championship, went to the championship, lost. and they lost. Tell me what the difference between the Sixers and the Flyers are. Uh, the Sixers make the playoffs? The Sixers make the playoffs. <laughs> but the Sixers the, win games and yeah. con people into coming out to Every watch time. these games and make all this money when the end result is exactly the same. Yeah. Guess what? The Flyers just suck. The Flyers and you used know they to be suck. the same, by the way. They used to always make <laughs> they, it to the playoffs. They, 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 never, it was the same exact thing. And <laughs> every really year, did. every year, same with the Sixers. They I'm really like, did. I'm not falling for it this the year. Same, yeah. And then it gets the, close to the playoffs and they start winning in round one. And I'm like, what? The fl- the Flyers <laughs> swap the process yep. with the Sixers, and it's literally the same thing. It is. And it's soul crushing. And it, again, like when the when the Eagles were good and we weren't getting the Super Bowl, we were going to NFC Championship games, so like that, like you really felt like you're about to get over the hump because Every you were time. at the yep. championship game at least. Yep. Like you were there. And then we had that lull, but when we get there, like <laughs> These teams can't even get over can't close get to the over home. Can't and get to the home. I, I at this point, <laughs> at this point, I don't care what you say. I don't even care that James Harden was back slapping his little minion out in Vegas when he wasn't with his team or at home with his feet up. He snuck out to Vegas to go throw money at strippers and have some creme brulee. I don't care. I care That's fine. Bit. Yeah, I care. I, I care because everybody's going to point to it. Yeah, yeah I yeah. care because. People want to try to make excuses. The excuse is James Harden doesn't show up in playoffs when pressure is applied. Correct. So now it's going to be, oh, well, he wasn't concentrating and he was already thinking about going to Houston. Yeah, no, does. no, no. He sucks in the playoffs Always has. when pressure comes. Yep. Joel Embiid is hurt in the playoffs when we need him. Mr. Regular Season. Glenn Rivers <laughs> can't 
coach in the playoffs, and these are things that are just now factual. Yeah. <laughs> it is not like I don't – next year when I say it, I don't want to hear anything about, oh, you're being grumpy, you're, just, you're not a real fan. No, I'm a reasonable, logical individual, <laughs> and I know what's going to happen with this team, especially if you try to run it back. There's no way on God's green earth that you give James Harden a nope. max contract. Oh if he gets even an extension, he, I wouldn't even extend him. I would not extend him. The, Move I, on. F- go get me Luca who wants out. Go get me Trey Young. Go get me Dane. Go get me. Go get me any other superstar to pair with Joel and B. When you say Joel can't play with anybody, mm-hmm. Joel can play with somebody, but they got to be able to play. Yeah, <laughs> Harden is the the devil in disguise. This year, he knew that he sucked and he only took three shots in the playoff game and said the ball didn't find me. Bitch, shut your mouth. <laughs> You're the point. Then card. he comes back. <laughs> And he says to the whole world, we did go out and they score 55. Why am I talking about Joel? I don't know. I'm so mad. That was 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 a horrible impression. I I apologize, Joel. I mixed the match. Let me just say it clearly (laughs) so I'm not trying to make an impression. When I go out and I score 50 and I'm the MVP, people tell me, you can't win like that. That's why you don't get out of the That's why you don't win Uh championships. So this year, I'm going to sacrifice. It's all about sacrificing. I'm going to sacrifice my points. I'm going to sacrifice by being a distributor. I'm going to sacrifice. So. Oh, how about oh. score 25? Oh, so <laughs> so when you don't score 10 points, you can say, well, I was sacrificing. Right. You have this built-in excuse of how you're sacrificing your game. No, you're old and you're slow sometimes. I was at the game in Toronto, one of the last two games of the season. The day after, he said, my Achilles is burst, and I there, yeah. there's no getting better from Achilles. They're like, how are you going to? He's like, it doesn't get better. It's the Achilles. The next game, I saw him sprinting full court yeah. up and down with blazing speed. He can't finish at the rim now for he, some reason. He can't finish at the rim, and the refs aren't going to help you in the playoffs. Nope. So his game is mute. Can't play D. He can't play D. He never played D. Well, I mean, that's a lie. He was an underrated defensive player. He was just slight. He wasn't wow D. He was no, sneaky yeah. D. Uh, but now it's really up to Maxi at this point to save the season. Maxi can't save the season by himself. I know. And 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 Maxi and the other uh, max contract fool. Well, Tobias, well, everybody get back on the Tobias. Look train. how good look, he played. Tobias. <laughs> Tobias is a great player on a trash team. He He's is just a guy. He, you know, what, what's uh, Mikael Bridges? Is that the guy that we drafted and traded away yeah, and went yeah. to uh-huh. Nets? Yeah, put him on a team with a bunch of junk players, and what does he do? Fifty points a game. Well, yeah, somebody's got to score. Somebody exactly, and that's no. what a Tobias is. When nobody's in there, yeah, Tobias is going to score. He doesn't look to score. He doesn't get in the rhythm to score. He doesn't ask for the ball, command the ball. Everything goes through Joel Embiid, and the team slows down, and the coach can't coach, and we're going to lose the second round again. And his name is Glenn Rivers for the rest of his life. And if they bring him back, I'm going to jump out a window. I'm so upset. I don't like anything about it. It's the same thing we do every single year. Every single year. Every single year, I take the hottest girl out on a date, and she's got her boobs perked up, and she's wearing a short skirt, and I know she's not obligated to give me none, but she loves the meal. She loves the dinner. (laughs) Everything's great. She's rubbing my shoulders on the way home, and then gives me a kiss on the cheek and goes back in there, and I'm hard as a rock, left alone, (laughs) sitting in my car crying. And that's exactly how I feel with the 76ers. Second round exit, year after year after year. You look so good all year long. You out here whining and dying to me, taking care of me, Every smiling, time. laughing at my jokes, <laughs> got the boob perked up, and then you leave me with blue balls in the car <laughs> in the rain, and I'm upset because it's every single year. I was actually starting to wonder, I'm like, are we going to make it to the finals, and can I handle another Philadelphia loss in the you finals? Are, you and now I just wish we could do that. At I this, wish. At this point, that was storybook written. It was yeah. set up to be that way. Right. If Joel was healthy. And again, the Celtics are our kryptonite. Yes. We, we can't well, go against wings two wings. <laughs> we, don't, we don't collect wings. Athletic wings. What? <laughs> they shut Maxi down. He struggles against Boston. That's the one team that he struggles to score against. Yep. Harden's too slow to cover anybody on Boston. Correct. And Embiid. They can pull him away from the rim, but Rob Williams, Horford always gives MB fits. Always. Yep. And I hate that guy. Hate him. And, and they got Brogdon, White. Like their bench guys are just so much better. Six. It's, just, it's Boston in five, by the way. That's how that's going to go. Boston in five, we're out. Yeah. That's it. it sucks. It does. Oh yeah, the rest of the league's playing. What do you know about them? Like, what do you think? 
Man, I was so bummed today watching Game Seven between the Kings and the uh, Warriors. I really just wanted to see a fun ass Game Seven, and it was it, it was decidedly not fun. It was even not though fun. Curry was lighting it up. I know oh, you're War- not the biggest Curry guy, but my goodness, hey, War- my War- goodness, Wardell showed up. <laughs> my favorite thing is again people on Twitter. Game Six, I said Wardell is not showing up right now, and he didn't. Right. Guy People back. love to expand that to but, meaning always, right? He, he came back to me. He's like, this didn't age well. I'm like, it yes, aged it exactly, exactly to the point. Yes. I said right now. <laughs> right. I didn't say always. I didn't say all series. Yes. I didn't say all year. I didn't say all day. I said right, right now. Yes. At I hate this moment in time. Yeah. And I even quantified that. I said I right I now. It. So it's like, uh, what are we doing? Stop doing that. That's and, the most fun thing ever, man. Yeah. And You're I'm like, like, man, this team really stinks right now. And they're like, oh, they came back and won. Don't you feel dumb? Like, no. When I posted that, they stunk. Like, <laughs> I hate Wardell and I hate the Warriors. Everybody knows this. And yes. if you don't know this, just know that I hate them with impunity. Exactly. There's no end to my hate for them. I will say this. They're a very lucky team and things break their way. But I personally, besides my hatred for them, I think it would have been better for the league if Sacramento would have uh, advanced one or two things, new blood, fresh blood and the Sacramento crowd. Best in the league. Best in the league. Like I got surround sound. I don't care okay. what you say. I had to like turn my being. I had to turn my audio down <laughs> during their games because I felt like I was about to get robbed. I felt like there was a storm at the gate when I was watching those games. And compared to every, the only other game was like that was like the first two home games with the Knicks. Yeah, Madison because Square Garden because there are no Cavs fans, so it was all <laughs> Knicks fans, right? So uh, the Knicks being in the playoffs and advancing the playoffs is great for the NBA. More stars at the Knicks game today yep. than. All the stars combined in L.A. Like, I mean, they had star power at that game, and it was impressive. They lost, and uh, mostly because uh, uh, what's his name is hurt. So Randall. They're, yeah, they're under they're under man right now, so you expect that to happen. Uh, Can't believe the Heat are going to end up in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Heat are not going to end up in the Eastern <laughs> Conference Finals. They're losing to the Knicks, you think? I think uh, unless he played it off. <laughs> oh, Butler's injury today? Butler's injury today. That looked bad. It looked bad. And... This is how Thibodeau is a rough nose stumble guy, but he's also a moron. Well, you always. don't switch off and go at Butler for the last four minutes of the game when play. you're down five <laughs> points. Yeah. You're stupid. That's terrible <laughs> coaching. You're dumb. And as yeah. a player on the court, you're an idiot. He was own. hobbling right. and standing alone in the corner. Right. He guarded no one. He right. moved nowhere on defense. He scooted his boot to the end and stood there in the middle of the court. And you didn't run at him. You didn't right. go to him. You suck right. as a coach and as a team that you didn't take advantage of that moment. And you lost that game at home. And you got booed and you got hurt uh, uh let's go heat because heat actually do have fans to travel so the knicks have stadium it's crazy. Saying, let's go even heat. heat even have fans right <laughs> it's miami baby yeah, and guess what they won them championships a whole up bunch of lebron bandwagoners i got i got a lot of buddies uh that love wade d wade was the yeah, flash yeah i mean it was awesome. waiting they had to shut the championship so miami i mean yachts boats i mean boobies ladies uh, it's a lot of shaking on down there <laughs> tax-free miami's popping uh, uh, a lot of people from up north here also migrate down there we got family down there everybody go down the gotcha. that's what in miami was going on but i'd be so sunburned if i lived in miami <laughs> you would be a we are thick crops you'd be a lobster <laughs> boy you'd be that's redded nice. in a mug yeah a uh but um so i i think the heat can beat the knicks as long as jimmy's healthy and yes that would be crazy but again the bubbles burst and we believe the zombie heat the suns and the nuggets game the suns first of all have never and can never now play any kind of defense because they traded away they have the, no depth. They yeah, have nothing. Yeah, they, they traded away the people that could play defense, yes. <laughs> and now they're only left with the offense. And it was a, it's a coaching issue also, the fact that they only played so many games together. But it's a my Continuity turn, your turn. Issue? Yeah, yeah, my turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. Well, that was when the you, old uh, when LeBron and D-Wade played that first year together. They yeah. didn't know how to yes. roll together. It was just like, yes. your turn? Did it, I shoot it, last time? It, I don't it, remember. It, that is an exact comp, and yeah. that's exactly what's going on. And the Nuggets, Murray, again, another bubble buster. Has been injured the last few years. Now he's back. Hey, nowadays everybody want to talk like they got something to say. <laughs> forgot about Dre. They, they forgot Phoenix about him. Building last night. Though. Yo, that was craziness. He stole the ball. Boy. Fast break between two defenders <laughs> behind the back. Euro step finished at the rim. My God, Murray. <laughs> My God, stop it. He, he was freaking him last night. By the three. Way. He checked three. Eight uh, was the most disappointing player to watch. That. Like he is on the Tobias contract. He, like, Aiton reminds me of Odom. Yeah, but he's not getting the criticism. Right. 
I saw a highlight. Everybody says he had, he's got a chance. He's going to change. He's going to develop. He, gonna he's he's a, he's like the Sixers hopes every year. Every year you think he's going <laughs> to yeah. advance and, and do this next right. step. And then he's sitting there crying in the background because his coach told him, you're a bitch. There was a highlight last night where he just stood and watched Denver uh, try and grab a rebound. He it got tipped up there three times. He never moved. And that's why your coach called you a bitch last year. That's why your coach basically told you, man up, you big oak tree. That's why he thought everybody was going to want to trade for him in the offseason, and the whole league was like, Meh. Yeah, no, nobody nobody wanted him. Nobody wants you, nah, bro. Of course not. So, nobody. <laughs> uh, now we got Lakers Warriors coming up. Fuck that. Lakers and the Grizz. Don't poke the bear. Why'd you poke the bear? What woke are up you the doing? Goat. You poke the bear, woke up the goat, bro. Le LeBron James <laughs> is not to be messed with until he tells you it's his retirement year. And his retirement year when he's going through his like little Hand Kobe braid and, yeah. and getting boats and <laughs> gifts given to him grossly, that's when you can say, oh, old man, come at me. Because guess what? When he goes into the locker room, and for the last two years, you know when he goes to the locker room after a win and hears? <laughs> yeah, Al, that's so crazy like, when they yeah, do that. His whole team <laughs> gives him go praise when he yeah. walks in. He could have scored 12 points, but they won. Now, mm -hmm. he, bah, when he walks by, he's in an interview. Bah. So when you say, I'm not afraid of nobody until they give me a 40 piece. Yeah. Then the you whole, lose by 40? <laughs> the whole, no, fuck that. The whole team came after you. Yeah, they did. And LeBron had 22 points, or 22 rebounds and 20 points. That's a 42 piece. Then you lost the closeout game by 40 points. 40. And Oh my God, Dale Brooks, you shut your mouth. And then you scared. See, that's what I hate, you front running piece of shit. Because back in the day, there's so many receipts of you tweeting LeBron, how many guys in the brand together? How many guys in the brand making a brand? You, you stand bitch, you. Mad that LeBron never wrote back. Dear Slim, I said, because the homie ain't calling. Like, you're out here writing these notes in the rain and trying to kidnap LeBron James Goatness, and you got to shut. The fuck down. And then you can't talk to the media four nights in a row. Just step up. You got to take it. Like, hey, man, you know, maybe I messed up. That's all. Just say that. There's a parade inside my city. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because guess what? When they asked uh, 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 Pistol Pete, uh, Tiny Gun, throw strip of money at him. <laughs> I'm going to have my mom get some get beat up at Foot Locker. Oh, what's his name? Ja, ja Moran. Yeah, that's his name. Ja, I'm good in the I'm good in the West. Like, I'm good to ask why you are not, you're good in the West. You're good to go home. You are free to fly the friendly right. skies back to Memphis. <laughs> you bitch you. And I used to be a job fan, but this year team. they talk so much shit. Oh, and they talk shit all year long. They've been talking shit for the last two years and they nothing. have done right. nothing. <laughs> Next year, shut your mouth. Be play. humble. Right. Bitch, be humble. Slow down. I know. Bitch, year, be humble. Oh yeah, last year was versus the Warriors when they blew them out that one game yeah. by 40 days talking all that shit. And the Warriors oh like, all right, God, all right, like, okay. Okay. Oh, there's uh, trash pandas. You know my favorite part of watching LeBron play now is what? Watching LeBron figure out how to take off time during the game while he's on the court. Because <laughs> he's just like, bro, I'm yep. not going for that right yep. now. That's not happening. Yep. He's like, but in two minutes, yep. I'm going to try hard for three. Yep. You got yep. me for three minutes. The, like, my, my, so the, he just gives the ball to Reeves the other time coming so, up the court. Like, go ahead, boy. So <laughs> there's two. There's two, oh, Reeves in the game one talking about I'm him on yeah. the court with LeBron <laughs> yeah. James and AD. Like, yo. <laughs> They probably make fun of him in the locker room. Nah, so man, nah, they, they they juice him up. They're like, yeah. go, white boy, go, yeah. white boy, go. Go, white boy, go, white boy, go. Even AD <laughs> looked tough in this yeah. series. AD yeah. is not tough. AD looked tough and rough. Tough yeah. and rough. That, that's all AD, that's whole AD's life. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, you got me. My favorite LeBron James plays, if he has any kind of play, is uh, the good play and the bad play. The good play is when he spins the ball and looks down at it, the ball spinning in his hand. Yeah. He's about to shoot a three pointer in your face. Yeah, he's like, like feeling it's, it. It's, 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 un, it's unimaginable. Like he's like spinning up a super power in the ball, but he just spins it. He looks at it. He looks at you. Looks at the ball. Pulls up. It's yep. going in. His takeoff play is if he gets a block and or steal. He will fucking moonwalk that ball he down the so court. Slow. He will moonwalk it down the court, and then he just stops and he does the. Yeah, <laughs> like he's about to do something, and he takes another five, six seconds off. Yeah. There's seven seconds on the clock, and he's like, "Come get this ball!" <laughs> he's like, oh, I messed up. Like, <laughs> oh, he told somebody, "Come get it," and then they got three seconds to shoot, and he'll do that three plays in a row. He gets the ball, walks it yeah. down, <laughs> stands there, come get it. Yeah. <laughs> and then next thing you know, he's blocking and dunking and he'll go whatever. But he, he takes at least 30, 40 seconds off at a clip now. You just reminded me in the Sixers closeout game, to go back to them real quick, when yeah. they beat the Nets, Harden had the ball at the end and he dribbled it. Dribbled it. And when I got the one second, he handed it to Paul Reed. So Paul Reed gets the turnover when the shot clock goes. Paul Reed was like, what? Yeah. Like, 
Yeah, I see. Like, All right, cool. Game's uh, over. He's uh, like, yo, that's you. <laughs> oh man. So you know, and now we got uh, Wardell right. versus uh, LeBron again. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I can't, great, great can't wait for league. those games to go on at ten thirty all week, so I, I know, cannot watch them. No, I know. <laughs> so, I'm old. <laughs> um, all my picks were right uh, because I picked all the things right, and the ones that I was wrong about, my wish right picks anyway. were right. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I had wish. So I, I said I that the Bucks are going to beat the Heat. Uh, I said, you hope the Heat. I I said the Cavs are going to beat the Knicks, uh. but my two wishes were. Oh. That the Heat would beat the Bucks and that the Knicks would beat the Cavs, and my only one that didn't come true was I had wished that the picks? Kings. Did I pick? No, I don't think you did. All my picks were right then too. If they're okay. not, on, if they're not recorded, yeah, my, then I my, got them all right. My, mine are recorded. They're on. <laughs> I did post mine on the internet. So I'm saying. Yeah, no, and mine my, were all right my, then. my third wish was that the Kings would beat the Warriors. That's the only one that I got wrong. Everything else worked out in my favor. Light the beam. Oh, uh, light the beam. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like I'm y'all guys are gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're up and coming. And we talked about this when people say they're young. I'm like. Inexperience is, Inexperience a is a better word because yeah. they're not young. There's dudes travel. They're monks on the team. Been on yeah. a championship team and all the things have happened. I just and, my, and they got Fox a great coach. Nightmare. They got a great coach. Mm-hmm. Sabonis was trash. Sab- <laughs> Yo, he tries to do the Giannis bulldoze play, but he just doesn't. It's yeah. weird. It's weird. And he's like AD too. Some days he's all world, yeah, and other days you're like, what? Yeah. yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. where are you at? So um, right now, Nuggets and Suns. I'm gonna take the Nuggets. One, because the Suns don't play defense and continuity, like you said. Two, because yeah, they have like to. My theory. Because what was your theory about who wins the? Championship? Oh no! Shut your mouth! <laughs> I don't want to shut your mouth. Go tell me your stupid theory. Theory and Bead finally wins his MVP, and then Jokic wins the championship, which is absolute and utter bullshit. It makes me sick. <laughs> Not so. I think the Nuggets are going to win the series because they're playing in the Mile High, and yeah, the air matters. is going to get to the Suns. Uh, especially when they're running and gunning. Because they play too many minutes also, the Suns starters, because they have to. So uh, the Lakers beat the Warriors because, as we know, I hate Wardell, and I think that uh, AD, when showing up, is going to be a problem for them. Um, The Knicks heat, like I said, if Jimmy's healthy, the heat are going to beat the Knicks. Yes, if not, then of course. Yes, and uh, 76ers are going to win in eight. (laughs) The (laughs) Philadelphia 76ers are going to win in eight. Right? Yeah. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Also so, five. Um, right. Like, yeah. And can't wait for everyone to say I'm negative about the Sixers. Like, sorry. <laughs> and, and yeah, I'm, yeah, I am negative about yeah. the Sixers because the same shit happens all the time, and I yeah. can't sit here. Oh, I, you know me. I haven't been positive for the last four years now because I just I know what's going to happen. I know you used, to, used be. to be, and I'm so glad you're on the dark side because you used to piss me <laughs> off. I'm like, dude, don't you see what I'm seeing? It's the yeah. same thing. You're like, yeah, but this time, I'm like, no, no, yeah, but this time, and this year, I actually suspended my hatred. And anger because I, you know, I love to go to the games. Yes. Leah loves going to games. I go to at least ten games a year, and I'm like, I just got to go to games. I, I always win at home. It's a fun experience. It's fun. It's great. It's good. It's good. But we fucking lose in the second round all the time, and it sucks. And I am uh your, uh, your boy Black Gritty. Like I said, there's merch, there's t-shirts. Uh, we in these streets. Uh, uh, Philly first. But anyway, yeah. follow Jason on the Twitter. Yeah. And uh, Bryce Harper will be back soon. Maybe Bryce happy about Harper. That. Can't go too long on it though. No, We've already ran long. We did. Uh, we'll, we'll, well, we'll talk about Bryce after Bryce comes back. Yeah, we'll have we'll have a Bryce episode. Legendary Bryce episode. <laughs> I'm yeah. for it. All right, we're out. All right.